Yeah, a little bit breezy. On the Attic Coast, lows from the mid 30s to mid 40s are mostly sunny, breezy, and cool today, with highs from the mid 50s okay. to just the low 60s. And then increasing clouds tomorrow, Wednesday, yeah, leading to a chance of showers. Uh, rain likely on Thursday, partial clearing on Friday, and then a little bit more rain Friday night into Saturday. Easter looks to be clear for your Easter egg hunt and the Easter Bunny, 60s and low 70s. Right now it's pretty chilly. Santa Rosa 42, Napa at 41, 49 in Oakland. 46 in San Francisco, 46 in Redwood City, and San Jose Airport, 47. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 12.50. Deborah Ingerson is at the editor's desk. Well, the roads got slick. Windshield wipers got a little bit of a workout, and we got rain today, yesterday. KCBS's Jim Taylor is here to remind us we're still in a critical water shortage situation. Looking at raindrops streaking down my window right now, it might be hard to buy into a water supply crisis here. Precipitation confirmation from the National Weather Service. Yeah, we, we have a cold front uh, currently bisecting the, the Bay Area uh, and pushing southward towards the central coast this morning, which has produced uh, widespread rainfall across the region. This is great because the drought is over now, right? I wish it was that, that good news, but uh, unfortunately, this is just a drop in the bucket uh, as far as rainfall goes. Meteorologist Roger Goff says we could get another drop in that bucket before the weekend. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope that at least in the next couple of weeks we continue to talk about rain. That will help keep the fuel wet and moist and it helps at least the, sh the short term lower wildfire threat. As we know, the long term water outlook for California is not good. Jim Taylor, KCBS. And state regulators are listening to environmentalist concerns before going ahead with a plan to release genetically modified mosquitoes. We get more from reporter Rob Archer. If that idea worries you because you've seen movies about what happens when scientists mess with Mother Nature, some environmentalists say they've got reservations too. The idea is that genetically modified non-biting male mosquitoes released in some parts of the state would mate with females who can carry dangerous diseases and their offspring would die off quickly, cutting down the number of disease-carrying mosquitoes. The California Department of Pesticide Regulation wants input from the public before they approve the plan. And the University of Southern California has brought lawsuits against two YouTubers who busted into classrooms to film prank videos. USC says the two, who are not students at the school, caused terror and disruption in the classes, citing three different classroom takeover incidents, with court documents revealing that they interrupted a class last month during a lecture about the Holocaust, dressed up and pretending to be Hugo Boss, a known World War II Nazi uniform manufacturer. A judge issued a restraining order against the pair, banning them from the L.A. campus. And from her conservatorship to now pregnant, the news about a huge pop star from CBS's Matt Piper. Um, Britney Spears posts to Instagram a cuff with roses all around it announcing she's pregnant. She says on a recent Hawaii trip, husband Sam said, you're just food pregnant. But she says a pregnancy test revealed that she is expecting. The 40-year-old is mom to a 16 and 15-year-old from a previous marriage. She went on to write that she won't be going out as much to avoid paparazzi taking photos of her and will instead do yoga every day. Matt Piper, CBS News. And she also posted that when she was pregnant in the past, she had perinatal depression, which she says was absolutely horrible, especially given, as she says, women did not talk about it back then. This is CEO Radio. Ray Hans. Being a entrepreneur oftentimes doesn't lead to most healthy habits. Ken Reese should know. Amid the stress of building, dismantling, and rebuilding his first Texas-based financial services company, he gained 50 pounds in the three years before he was finally able to sell it, after which a change in lifestyle was in order. My wife said, now that you've sold this company, you got to get rid of this weight. That was an order. But Reese didn't come up with a solution until after he...
What can I have for you? Um, I just do large fries and a uh, large uh, Coke. That's it. Five forty-two first window. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Oops, me. There. Thank you. Hi, too. <laughs>